Welcome back to Drinks and Chill. My name is Gio. This is Matt. And today, I'm not going to be saying what are we drinking today because he does not know. So this is something we did a couple weeks ago. He basically chose a bottle and I tasted it blindly, like a blind tasting, basically. except for one person. And so that's what we're doing today. Yeah. So I chose a bottle. He hasn't tried it. I don't think he tried it. I have no idea. So we'll find out. If it wasn't open, then I probably hadn't tried it. Oh, okay. Or maybe I did try it somewhere and liked it and bought a bottle. Yeah. I'm not even going to look at the top. <laughs> so I'm literally opening a bottle that he, one of his bottles. No, I told him like, don't pick that one. There, there was one bottle in particular that I didn't want opened. I'm sure you would have known if I picked that bottle. Oh yeah. I see it up there. So yeah. I know you didn't pick it. Yeah. And right off the bat, I don't see anything that's like obviously missing. So. <laughs> oh yeah. He's really keen on like what bottles are missing. So I had to do the extra and move bottles around. Sorry about that. Oh, you moved bottles around? <laughs> I had to. <sighs> I'll put them back. I, I kind of remember where I moved stuff. All right, so That's I'm gonna. That's a nice pop. I'm gonna do the first pour for you because this is a new bottle. Okay. I read the label on it and I was like, oh, this is interesting. So that's why I chose this one. Cool. Ding. Ding. Oh, that's an interesting smell. That is an interesting smell. Oh my God. I don't know what I'm smelling. It's, I like it though. Oh, this is weird not knowing what this is. Because usually when we do the blind tastings, it's like, oh, it's one of these four or five. Yeah. And you, you kind of figure out like, all right, what, what type of yeah. whiskey it is. But this one, you have no idea. So you can like have that guess of, oh, this is where this whiskey comes from. Right. It's really light. Mm -hmm. The color is light, as you can see. Yeah. I don't think it's a bourbon. It might be an Irish. Kind of light fruit okay so the initial smell i didn't like it but now i'm like now calming like down it? yeah it's it's getting better is this a bourbon <sighs> it's probably like jim beam or something and i'm like oh <laughs> wait, this is a bourbon <laughs> okay so on the on the smell i'm getting like fruity but it's not like like rich mm -hmm. heavy fruit it's like kind of on the lighter side maybe a little bit of spice in there so there's some sweetness in there yeah i'm getting some vanilla in there I like maybe it. some mint in there on the nose, I would give it a five and a half. Five and a half for the nose? I have a 5.7. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It has a slight sharpness to it. Oh, that is... I wasn't expecting it to taste like that. It's like, when it's I like first a... taste it, it's got some sort of like little creamy yeah. thing going on up front. It's that creamy. The way it settles. Yeah, well, like that was the first thing I noticed. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, it's, it's some sort of like little creamy, like maybe caramelly type thing mm -hmm. when you first trace, taste it. You know what? It reminds me a little bit of that, um, what you always say, like that butterscotch candy. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a little bit more floral on the taste than it was on the smell. If this isn't, mm, if this isn't Irish, then it's gotta be some sort of like Bayside scotch or maybe like some kind of blended scotch. I don't know. I'm like debating whether... Like I said, it's probably a bourbon, but, you know. <laughs> I'm debating whether I should go with um, a 5.9 or jump to a 6. Really? Because it's something I can sip on. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to stick with the 5.7. 5.7? Or wait, what did I say? I said 5.5 .5 on the nose, didn't I? Mm -hmm. But it had a really interesting thing going on in the smell, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kick it up a notch to 5.7. I'm going to go 5.9. 5.9. On the finish, when I first tasted it, that caramel butterscotch creamy thing just hit me like all of a sudden and then on the finish nothing really happened mm -hmm. at least for me uh, but it was still there i mean it, it still had that that flavor of the whiskey there so i'm going to say the finish is a two i'm going go with like a 2.3 the aftertaste it, it's still pleasant or you know, i'm still enjoying it without drinking so yeah so here it is and the reveal oh my god it's a bourbon isn't it it is oh Okay, just let do it. Oh, it is bourbon. Mm -hmm. Damn it! I feel like it's too light to be a bourbon, but it <laughs> makes sense because this is from Wyoming, way up. It's a little bit colder there. Yeah, so I don't because it's colder there. I don't think the barrel impact would have as or the the oak would have as much of an impact as it would like in Kentucky or especially here in Texas. 
So that's my excuse. But not only that, the reason why I chose it is because this is a double cast, mm -hmm. but it's been finished in wine barrels. I thought that was like, hmm, that's interesting. I wonder how much different that would be. Yeah. But apparently it's different enough where you thought it was scotch. First I thought it was Irish, but I was like racking my brain as to like, which Irish could it be? Because I don't have as much mm -hmm. Irish here. So I was like, well, I don't think it's any of the ones I have. So it must be some sort of blended scotch that I just like haven't had in a while or haven't opened yet. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a celebrity whiskey. Oh, okay. Uh, for Chris Ledoux, who was like a country singer from back oh. in the 80s. I believe this was created by his children to like, um, like to honor him. Oh. Finished and bottled by 1890 Spirits, Laramie, Wyoming. So it was finished there, but it wasn't distilled there. Where was it distilled? To create this unique blended bourbon whiskey, we take an Indiana bourbon, which is probably MGP, and blend it with a Kentucky straight whiskey, and then finish it and just so do it premium wine barrels. So that's cool. And that's why it got like an interesting taste to it. Yeah, that might have been where the floral note came from. Mm -hmm. um, I like the bottle. Yeah, I like the bottle as well. It has, uh, the label on it is very nice. It looks like a, kind of like a, a burnt mm -hmm. letter. Yeah, it looks really cool. Like the extra details it has with the Mm -hmm. The font and it's got a cool texture too. Mm -hmm. Like if you actually feel the label, it's it's like It's not just like flat. It's like textured which is really neat, but no, I actually bought this bottle um, Last summer when I went up to Yellowstone. Oh, okay, and I tried it there at like where they were selling it because they were giving out samples And then I, I just hadn't opened it yet. So you liked it enough where you you got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, this is this is pretty cool This is our first Wyoming whiskey. Well, this wasn't distilled in Wyoming, so I don't I guess, but I guess it could still be considered Wyoming whiskey. I don't know, but yeah, I liked it. I'm glad you picked that one. Mm -hmm. uh, on the look, I'd give it, I'd probably give it a 2.5. 2.5? On the look, yeah. The The whiskey is a very nice color, and I really like the way they did the label. I like the cork had a nice pop on it. You know what? They put a lot of work into this one, I think. It would be cool if they had like um, an embossed label on the actual, yeah. like engraved. I'll go like with the 2.5. 2. Mm. Yeah, 2.5. Okay, we'll put the, the final scores up there, but it's gonna be somewhere in like the 15-ish range, I yeah. think, for both of us. So let's uh, add it. I almost right. forgot. Yeah. You wanna do the honor? I'll do this one. All right, just let do it. Add it to the infinity bottle. Still has a good smell to it. Yeah, that one threw me off. I think threw you off because you weren't um, sure on what, what you're smelling. Well, that's kind of the whole point of like, it, the, the point isn't to like guess, oh, what am I smelling? But it's just to give like my opinion on it without any other factors impacting mm -hmm. that. So next video we do, you won't know what we're drinking. Yep. So let us know uh, in the comments below if you try this one and if you mm -hmm. liked it, or if you had any other Wyoming bottles. Well, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button like, comment down below, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we upload, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.